Hey friends! So it has been quite a while since I did the, a vlog and I know every time I'm at work I'm always like looking up because of the camera I am alone. It doesn't happen often at all when I'm here at the office. Um, this is kind of an unflattering angle but this is kind of all I got. Um, but I wanted to say hello and, and talk to you guys for a few minutes and um, update you on what has been going on and yeah but I'm gonna try to be working as I'm doing it so hopefully anything you hear like shuffling of papers and stuff isn't too loud um, of course I'll watch it back before I post it but um so it is December 15th Friday it's about 3 15 and I have a bunch of stuff to do I actually work tomorrow which is crappy but you know it is what it is so I will be um, here, um, but I have like a kind of like a project I want to work on when I come in tomorrow. So I want to get as much done as I can on like, this stuff, you know. Anyway, of course the phone rings and I'm not answering it. Um, so hopefully, there, I just turned the volume down. I know who's calling, I, I just don't want to answer it. Um, it's not a boss or anything, don't worry, um, or a customer. <laughs> um, so anyways, yeah, I just wanted to say hello. I don't know how long it's been since I've, um, recorded anything. I tried to do this a couple weeks ago. It wound up being like 30 minutes long. I only have 24 minutes of record time on my phone, so it won't be more than that. Hopefully it's not 24 minutes long, but I know how I am. I know that I tend to talk a whole bunch and go off on you know, random tangents of randomness. Um, I'm doing this in black and white because I just feel like crap today. And well, my face decided to, we were going to go through puberty again, which is super awesome. And I don't know, I just feel like black and white is like the most flattering color. <laughs> um, so what has been going on? So this year is almost over. This year has been pretty rough i'm pretty sure i've said that the last like three years um we have officially lived where we are for three years i've been at my job for two years and my car has been parked for one year um our situation has gotten better it has not been without its struggles to get there we've been like working really hard to try to improve you know our life and um it's just tough. Adulting is really, really tough. Um, mainly our issue uh, has been financial stress and um, it primarily stems from me not having a job when we first moved to this area. And uh, we're still playing catch up basically. Uh, for the most part, we're caught up, but things keep happening to prevent us from saving any sort of money. So we have no savings at all. Um, that's kind of why I started trying to do Vantel um, and start trying to do it. I am doing Vantel um, and I do enjoy it. It's been fun. It's just hard to do because it is a primary, primarily live thing like through Facebook. Um, you just have to be in the mood and I'm sure you guys can relate like when you're not in a good mood or you're stressed out you just don't feel well or like you show it it's really hard to put on a happy face when you don't feel well or you just feel like bogged down and stressed out um and so that's been like a major struggle of mine since starting Vantel is because they say oh you should go live you should go live the more you go live the better you are the, you know the more successful you'll be which in a sense makes sense but at the same time like if I'm not feeling well and I'm just not feeling it I'd rather not do that if that makes sense um, but yeah so things are definitely getting better and I'm grateful for that you guys my baby boy will be five on Monday how many of you have been around since I started my TTC journey when we were trying to get pregnant. That's when I started my YouTube channel and um, I 
can't believe that my child is going to be five. I'm going to have a five-year-old. He starts kindergarten next year. I just can't even. Where did time go? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I just don't even know. So we are currently trying to conceive um, baby number two. We thought that this would be a good time. I really do wish we didn't have to wait and plan things the way we have. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. This is our life. This is our situation. I really do believe things are meant to be or, like, things happen for a reason. I've had a hard time grasping things like that, but I do believe it. Um, funny story really quick because I just got an email. So one of our admin people from another office sent out our holiday schedule for 2018. And so it just like tells you like what days the, the company is closed. And so it said like New Year's Day, um, Memorial Day, um, Independence Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas. I probably missed one anywhere in, in there anywhere, but you, you get the picture. Um, so somebody being a smart aleck said, what, there's no 4th of July in 2018. So last I checked, Independence Day was on July 4th. Like, it just made me laugh because really, she kind of looked like an idiot. I know that sounds really mean, but you just replied all to a bunch of managers and office people and you look like an idiot. And so someone just, I really wanted to be the one, but someone did reply, uh, Independence Day is July 4th. I just thought that was funny. Um, anyway, so <clears throat> we thought that it would be a good time to start trying for baby number two. Um, because Caden starts kindergarten in the fall. And so if I were to get pregnant like this month, baby would be due around when Caden starts kindergarten. Therefore, um, we would not be paying for daycare for two kids. So that's kind of like what our goal was because unfortunately daycare is expensive and we cannot afford daycare for two kids. So we can hardly afford it for one kid, but that is beyond the point. Um, so yeah, so that's exciting. This is our first month like officially trying. I don't know if you guys followed, like I said, I don't know how many of you came from, no, I'm in the wrong thing, crap. I don't know how many of you have stuck around for the last like seven years from my trying to conceive days. However, um, I used to do like, like tracking and stuff. So I would do OPKs, which are ovulation predictor kits. And um, I just got the strips from Amazon. They're like really, really cheap. And you just like pee in a little cup and you dip the strip and um, it'll tell you if you're ovulating or what. So what I did when we were trying to get pregnant with Caden, cause you kind of got to like learn your body when you're trying to get pregnant. Um, I'm not one of those people where, you know, I just like get pregnant so super easy. It took us, over a year to get pregnant and then we had a miscarriage and then it took us like six like six months to get pregnant with Caden so it's always been in the back of my head that I would not be able to get pregnant again I don't know why I've always had that in the back of my head um but we are trying so this is the first month we are tracking we me um because I just kind of want to see like do I ovulate when do I ovulate do I get a positive um OPK um, so I am tracking that. I wanted to share that, uh, my journey on YouTube again, but I think I'll keep some of that, um, to a minimum, um, because I'm not, my video, my, my video and my audience is more so weight loss community, which I will be getting there. Um, so I don't want to like gross you out or bore anybody with like trying to conceive videos because if you can't relate to that it's not something you want to watch obviously um but when the time comes and if i am lucky enough and i do get pregnant i will definitely be sharing pregnancy updates because i don't know why i love watching them it's so fun it's just so fun to watch the progression of a pregnancy um and just like hear about it and like i always get so excited watching um youtubers like 
when they do like um like is it one or two babies in there and is it a boy or a girl and like our name reveal and our nursery reveal like I love stuff like that I had I have before I got pregnant and now that I'm a mom I love it even before I was like in the set mindset to have another baby I always loved watching that kind of stuff so I will definitely share that kind of stuff because I did that with Caden um but anyway he's really excited Caden is because he really wants a baby brother he always says baby brother which is adorable um and so I think he'll make a really good big brother um but I keep trying to tell him that you don't get to like you don't get to pick what you get you just get what you get <laughs> so um obviously I would just want a healthy baby it doesn't matter one way or another for me if it's a boy or a girl but that would be really exciting so I definitely will share that with you guys um what else I have such a headache right now um weight loss so yeah it's obviously not happening I've tried to get back on track many many times this year and it just I am not in the right mindset like I want to be but I'm not and it's really hard to focus because I'm so distracted by other things. And um, having like financial issues makes it worse because we've had times where like we have like the bare minimums at, in the house for food. Like, you know, like cereal or uh, like PBJ, <laughs> um, ramen noodles. We always have ramen noodles on hand. That's like my husband's like favorite food. Um, and so it's not... Being in that kind of situation is not ideal for weight loss, obviously, because I don't get to pick the foods that I'm making for dinner. It, it sometimes comes down to, okay, well, this is all we got, so this is dinner. Like, the other night, um, and some some of it, like, the other night, it's not that we couldn't go grocery shopping. The other night, it was mainly just because I hate grocery shopping, especially this time of year, because stores are just crazy. But the other night, like, we had, like, fish sticks, mashed potatoes, and broccoli. <laughs> that was our dinner and like I don't find that to be incredibly unhealthy no it's not the healthiest thing fish sticks you know but um like sometimes when you're on a very tight budget you get you aim for quantity versus quality I mean no I don't feed my son crap all the time if we buy him chicken nuggets or something like that or the fish sticks we make sure it's like the better option of all the other options um and that like you know we kind of look at the ingredients a little bit but <clears throat> we buy stuff like that because it goes farther we know he'll eat it and um yeah so being on a weight loss journey when you're on a, such a tight budget is very very hard I know it can be done I'm not saying it can't be so like I hope no one comes at me and is like oh that's just a stupid excuse you might think it's a stupid excuse but the problem is it's not just me I'm not just feeding myself I'm feeding an entire family well there's three of us and we don't all always eat the same things my son thank god loves vegetables like i do he loves broccoli he likes salad so that's good that's good for me but my husband doesn't eat stuff like that and it becomes very expensive and time consuming to have to make multiple meals for people and when i was really into the weight loss thing whether i was doing low carb or weight watchers or you know whatever the case may be i was usually 90 percent of the time making my own food so they would have their own meal and I would have my own meal. And that's expensive because I literally had to buy double the groceries because I had to buy, I'd buy me and all the healthy stuff, all the produce and stuff. And then I'd buy them, you know, whatever they wanted. And that becomes very, very pricey. And we have reached a few points in this past year that grocery shopping wasn't even an option, let alone being able to pick certain things for certain people and making sure that they're like super duper healthy. So unfortunately that has caused some issues not only that but just stress in general just over life I stress out easily I've always said that and it's the truth I have a headache right now because I'm stressing and I'll tell you why in a second <laughs> um but I am going to try to join Weight Watchers again in the new year I know that sounds so cliche but I know that they're doing a new program I really want to look into it um smart points was just not my thing it obviously works for a lot of you, which is awesome, and I'm very happy for you. Um, I think that it also didn't work for me because I didn't, I wasn't there. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't have the interest that I had when I first started losing weight, period. Um, I haven't slept on scale in a little bit. 
and you know I'm not even mad about it like I know I've gained weight I can feel it in my clothes I've said that before I can see it in my face and it is disappointing um, but it is what it is like this is my life <laughs> and I could either choose to be upset with myself and hate my body and hate myself or I can just accept it and move on and that's what I chose to do but I do want to get back on track um, and well, I feel like it's setting myself up for failure if I try to join Weight Watchers like now or, you know, before like the new year and everything settles down. Um, cause yeah, we have Caden's birthday party on, not his birthday party actually got canceled cause of snow last weekend, but we have his birthday on Monday and him and, um, me and him and my husband are going to take him out to do some fun things and like lunch and stuff. And I'm of course making him a cake and then we have Christmas of course and then like uh, Christmas Eve I don't know what's going on on New Year's yet but uh, we may do something then um, then have like a work party well sort of um, so I really don't like, think it's a good idea for me to do it right now but it's only a couple weeks away so I'm excited to do that so if you are on Weight Watchers and you're doing it's like freestyle I think it's called tell me about it like tell me do you like it tell me like Tell me what the differences are. I haven't really done a lot of research myself, but I have a friend that does Weight Watchers through her job, and she was telling me that she likes it, and there's more zero-point foods, which is kind of cool. Um, I think that could be helpful, um, especially when you're, like, feeding a family, um, you know, where you don't have to make yourself specific things for, versus just making your whole family, like, a meal. Um, so that's that. Um... Yeah, I'm going to try to get back on track. I really, really want to, um, especially if I get pregnant. I want to be healthy for this pregnancy. Not that I was unhealthy for the last pregnancy, but um, I weighed much more than I wanted to. And um, I was on blood pressure medicine the whole time. I think that's probably going to happen again because my blood pressure has always just been high. But I would like to not be on blood pressure medicine. Um, so I would like to if I could lose weight before getting pregnant, but obviously I will be glad to be pregnant at any time. So that is that. Um, oh, and just to give you an update on what's going on the last week, week, literally the last week. So my cat, my poor baby, the wild one that's always in my videos, she has a, well, we don't know. We went to the vet yesterday. They did a biopsy. Um, it's behind, it's like on her face and like behind her eye and it could be, what she's thinking is like a, probably like a tumor of some sort, like cancerous. Originally when she got this like wound on her face, it was an abscess, but we don't know if it's, we're hoping it's just a really, really bad infection, but the vet is leaning towards cancer. And me and my husband like lost it at the vet yesterday because it's just so sad. My poor baby's in a little cone right now. She's only, um eight pounds she's a very tiny cat and we have three cats as you guys know but this one is my shadow and she follows me around everywhere and she's my loud one and she's my big mouth and I don't know what we're gonna do we've never lost a pet like as a couple you know we've been together for a long time um so it's, it's very sad um so she's running around our house with a cone right now on her head because she's got stitches in her face and um, she's running into stuff, which it's funny, but not funny. Um, we woke up this morning and my son's fish died. I don't know how or why, but Charlie died. He was floating in his tank. I thought we were taking really good care of him, but someone told me I might have been overfeeding him. <sighs> which is like such a terrible way to die. Like, um, And then, yeah, we, are, we were hoping for... Um, my in-laws are were going to give us money to help us get our car fixed, my car fixed, um, for Christmas. But because of the vet bill that we had to pay yesterday, like, it basically drained our account. So we have to, she's sending us, my mother-in-law, which I'm very grateful for, she's sending us the money early. So we have that to help pay the bills. We can't pay now because we paid a huge vet bill. Um... So yeah, so like that's why, guys. That's why I'm stressed. It's always something. It's so frustrating and so hard not to cry. <laughs> I've cried a lot this year <laughs> and last year and the year before. Things are getting easier, but it's like one blow at a time. It's like take, what do they say? Take one step forward and like three steps back. Like that's us. 
we're like slowly inching, but then we get knocked on our asses again. So yeah, that's where we are with that. So I obviously have not worked at all because I was just talking to you guys, which is fine. Um, I have an hour left of work, so hopefully I can get some stuff done. Um, this video is now 20 minutes, so I apologize for that. Sorry for the angle of you looking at my nose. Um, but come the new year, I will be back. I hope. I really want to be back. I miss talking to you guys. If you guys remember, main, the majority of my videos were taking place in the car. I don't have my own car right now. It's parked in my driveway. It has been for over a year. And so that has made vlogging very hard because I'm never, ever, ever alone. Can you guys imagine that? Never being alone? It's awful. I used to like hate being alone, but now I like savor every minute because I'm never alone. <laughs> How weird is that? Um, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I have a headache. I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas if you celebrate and a very Happy New Year. I'd like to say that I will be on before then. I might post a video of Caden like on Christmas morning. That would be really fun. Um, we got him a Nintendo Switch for Christmas and we're so excited to give it to him. And I don't know if you guys ever saw the video from like the 90s um, of the little boy when he opens the N64, the Nintendo 64. He's so excited. I think that video went viral. Um, but you should look it up. But we want that to be Caden. Me and my husband are like... <laughs> Also, we're really excited about the Switch, too, because it's something you can do as a family. So, anyways, again, I hope you all have a lovely holiday. Happy Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. I hope it's amazing. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye.